Hey everyone, Josh here with another unboxing video and today we're going to unbox from Revenge of the Sith R2-D2. So let's take this guy over to my toy studio and tear this thing open. Alright everybody, here we are in the toy studio with R2-D2 from Revenge of the Sith with electronics, electronic lights and sounds. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys up front, I've already tested him out and I know this, my R2 is a little, he does not work, but you gotta give me a break. He's been in the box for over 10 years, so there's a little thing here where you can try his lights and sounds and it does not work. I'm sorry, I just, over time, I guess the battery fizzled out on us. So, but before we crack this, package open. I just want to spin the packaging around let you guys see it real quick. And of course I want to read the little description on the back here. Alright. R2-D2 accompanies Padme to, the Mus to Mustafar as she tries to pursue persuade Anakin to return to the side of good. The loyal astromech droid witnesses a tragedy that has moment momental monumental consequences for the galaxy and of course they're talking about Anakin going to the dark side and killing Padme but you gotta realize when these toys were released it was before the movie so they couldn't give out spoilers but let's get into this guy and see what he's all about and one thing you're gonna find when you get an R2 unit which is or an R2 droid toy, I know he's a real droid, is you're going to find there's never really any accessories that come with R2, unfortunately. And there is one I, I, have, I have in my collection that's a Power of the Force R2, and he comes with Luke's lightsaber because it's meant to recreate the scene from Jabba's sail barge where he shoots Luke's lightsaber out of the back. Okay, so okay, so there's a battery compartment. I'll have to open that up and see if I can change the batteries for another video. We'll see how that goes, but let's just check him out here. And all right, uh, oh, I just saw this fell out the package. Okay, so there are little instructions on here to how to change R2's battery. And we'll have to give that a shot. All right, but anyway, back to R2. So one of the things you're going to find, though, with this guy, as I'm noticing, is the dome does not spin, unfortunately, here. Um, but if you look real close, you can see his eye is an actual light bulb. And so I guess if the batteries work, the bulb will light up when he beeps and stuff. And this little part here in the front is a button. And that's how you would activate him. And but since there's wiring and electronics going through him, his head does not spin, but his legs do move. And he actually the little wheel part on the bottom wheel moves too. It has a little movement. And if you look in the bottom here, you'll see the third his third leg the wheel mechanism does move but the leg is not retractable or anything like that let me see nope looks like it's permanently mounted and once again that's because he's got wires and batteries inside of him so that's going to limit the the things that, that you can do with him but you can adjust his legs so you can put him in his drive mode or his dr drive position Just bring him a little bit closer and give you guys one more quick look at him. And then I'll tell you what, I'm going to run down and grab some batteries and a screwdriver because you can see there's a little screw there. And I'll real quick change the batteries out and see if we can make them work. And that would be awesome. Alright guys, let's do that. I'm going to take a cut and we'll be right back. All right, all right, guys, we're back, and what I did is I went and got a set of batteries for R2, 
and my miniature screwdriver kit. And let me tell you guys something. If you're going to collect figures, especially ones that take batteries, you're going to need a kit to get into the little battery compartments because sometimes they can be very tricky. And if you go get a big bulky screwdriver, you can do more damage than anything because these screws are very, very little. So let's see if we can change him out here. Wow, that is one stubborn screw. It's been in there a while. Okay. All right. There is Art 2's battery compartment. And we're probably going to need another screwdriver to get those batteries out of there. And let's hope we didn't have any leakage. And that's exactly what we had. They didn't do a lot of damage, but if you look close, you can see the battery is leaking. So let's get these things in the trash. So get out of here. Okay. And make sure your contacts are good and clean. And then you can reload the batteries. And hopefully, R2 is going to work. Oh, all right. Contact. Oh, let's get this shell back on. And another little tip I'll give you guys. When you're putting the battery covers back on, don't wrench down on the the screw. Just put it till it stop. Turn it till it stops or it's just going to be more difficult to get off when you need to change it next time so all right I think we got him now let's see him light up let's see what he does <laughs> all right so it's not always the same okay so it seems like he's got Wow. Okay, so we could go on like this for a while, but as you can see, oh, he makes a lot of different sounds, and that is Light Up Electronic R2D2. And thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. Bye.